Welcome back to another Geek Up video and today I'm going to be telling you how to get any headset and turn it into a surround sound headset. So let's do this. So first off, I'd like to say this is a StarTech product. The links will be in the description. It's IC USB Audio 7, uh, which is the product name, and it's a virtual 7.1 surround sound um, sound card. So how does it work? Now, to do the, to explain that, I'm going to go through a little bit of background information. So this is my Logitech. These are my Logitech G430s. These are a 5 point or a 7.1, I can't remember, uh, surround sound headset. Now, when I first got these, it came with a little USB dongle, very similar to this. And I thought, hang on, what's that? And in, in, and in a bit of experiment, and I realised for the surround sound to work, you needed that dongle. Now these use what you call virtual surround sound, and most surround sound headsets, not all, but most use virtual surround sound. And basically that has one driver in each, uh, each headphone, and then it basically generates it uh, rather than stereo, it does it virtually. You do get some headsets, uh, or if you're in a cinema, you will have speakers all around you to replicate, and that's called physical Dolby surround sound. This is virtual Dolby surround sound. So these are quite hard and quite uncomfortable, I'll be honest with you. And these are like cotton on your head. Like, they are comfortable. So what these allows you, these? <laughs> so what this allows you to do is this allows you to uh, make, make uh, your, your really nice comfortable headphones or headset into a surround sound pair of headphones. Now this works with Windows and PC and uh, Windows, and the same thing, Windows and Mac, and uh, it works gloriously. So let's go on a physical overview. We've got a USB 2 connector up at the top. We've also got a microphone and a headphone mute button, which sound glorious, listen to this. I love tactile feedback buttons. Then we've also got a volume up and down tactile feedback button. I could, I could spend all day pressing these, and a microphone mute and a um, a power indicator LED. Around the back, we have the rainbow of um, the rainbow of three and a half millimeter connectors with a red microphone and a green headphone jack. Now, basically, all you got to do is you plug this into your computer. You either, if you're on a Mac, all the drivers should automatically be there, and it works out the box. And if you're on Windows, you can either get the drivers off the included CD, or you can go um, to a website to download them, which is great because I don't have an optical drive. A lot of people don't have optical drives in their computer now. You know, times have changed, things have moved on. Now, what do I like and what do I not like about this product? Now, for me, this gives very, very similar, if not the same, performance to my included Logitech, um, my included Logitech, uh, my Logitech sound card. If I can, if I can speak. Now, something to be wary of is these were manufactured in the knowing that they were going to become virtual surround sound so they may have been engineered in a way that they were more beneficial to it which is why performance of these with this adapter is slightly better than something like my reference uh, HP 60s nevertheless this still provides incredibly effective performance having a microphone and a headphone mute button for me is really 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 nice indeed and the LED indicators certainly help you to debug and show you what is going on. Overall, for a very little price, you can save yourself some money and get a better pair of headphones as opposed to worrying about ones with gaming branding because they are ultimately often more expensive and often, res often resort in little uh, sound uh, quality or improvement. So overall, what do I like, what do I dislike about this product? It isn't a review, but it certainly enables you to do something great. The design obviously could be a little bit better. It could be in a matte, matte, matte black finish. It could be how could have professional font it could have uh, rgb leds and blacked out connectors but it doesn't because it doesn't need to and that's that's the picky people will say that but it serves its purpose and whether you like it or not this product does what it says on the tin and it made these lovely pair of cloud headsets and um, my lovely scarlet hp 60s into my new surround sound headset so go pick yourself up one of these thanks for star tech for sending it over all the links you need will be down below in the description Drop a like rate and make sure to answer my question of the day in the comment section below. Follow my Twitter, make sure to subscribe, and as always, we'll see you in the next Geek What video.